Hi, my name is Sarah and I am going to talk to you today about safety considerations when using warmies or hot water bottles. Um, so at Dove Lewis we do use warmies and hot water bottles for um, indirect warming where we use it on things like we'll wrap the IV tubing around it um, or you can set it on top of oxygen tubing. So oxygen tubing brings really cold air to the patient and the thought is by putting a warm water bottle on top of it that it could potentially warm the air that's going um, through the endotracheal tube. The IV tubing, same thing. You're putting cold fluids into a patient. So by wrapping the fluid line around a warmy, that might warm the fluids that are going into circulation and warm them from the inside out. We used to use warmies much more directly on the patient's surface, um, but we now know that warmies aren't the safest method of um, regulating temperature in our patients. And that's because they're really easy to get too hot. Um, they don't balance temperature really well, so there can be a hot spot within them. And their patients are really susceptible to thermal burns, especially in a patient like a patient that's under anesthesia that can't get away if it gets too hot. So I used to think that if it was too warm, you just had to wrap it in something, but there's actually studies and stories coming out where these are like warmed in fleece blankets and they still cause really horrible thermal burns which can lead to malpractice suits or even worst case scenario can lead to death in the patients. So best case scenario is to use um, some of our FDA approved uh, heating sources like the hot dog warmers or a bear hugger. Um, those are much safer but if you were if you didn't have the option of those kind of um, safer heating sources and you did have to use warm water bottles. What I would say is when you warm it up, take the warm bottle and hold it just like a baby's bottle against a more sensitive area of your skin and make sure it's not too hot for your to come in contact with your skin. If it's too hot, you need to wait for it to cool off before you put in your patient. And then they should always be wrapped in um, pretty thick towels to make sure they're not directly in surface um, to the patient. And then do everything you can to avoid using them and know that if they're on there for a long period of time and the patient's not moving, there is a, a very much an increased risk of thermal burns. The last way that we use it at Dove Lewis is we sometimes get little hamsters or um, birds, wildlife come in. So we use cages like this in hospital. And the best way to warm these patients would be to have like a heat map underneath or have them in a controlled heat environment like an incubator. But if you don't have that as an option, you can use a warmie on the outside. Um, so doing something like this can indirectly warm the patient. Uh, we actually don't know how effective that is, but it is something that we can try that is safer because there is that barrier between the warmies and the patients. So just make sure that you're being really, really safe if you're using these in your hospital because um, these warm bottles are now kind of a little bit on the hot seat in vet med and we know that they can cause problems and they require these considerations.